I just knew that we're all given so many days in this world and I thought, well, this is my destiny, but I, I'm gonna see what I can do to not make it my destiny. And that's what I did. I have been happily married for 44 years. We have two daughters, have a granddaughter on the way and a great granddaughter. I'm a beekeeper. I love camping and water skiing and hiking and biking. And I just, I love life. The first time I met Laura, was in our pancreatic cancer multidisciplinary clinic that meets every Tuesday. And what I saw was a very energetic patient who was very concerned about her diagnosis. She had undergone several months of chemotherapy already, which is very common uh, in patients with pancreatic cancer. Uh, but despite uh, having undergone chemotherapy, I could see this vibrant, vivacious uh, patient who wanted to beat this cancer and get on with life. So my journey started out with some stomach issues and I ultimately had my gallbladder taken out and they told me that my gallbladder was gangrene and that was really unusual. So they said, hmm, why. I ended up going to Anschutz and I was diagnosed with a tumor that had been on my gallbladder which was pancreatic cancer and that was May 6th of 2019. In the United States today pancreatic cancer is the number three cancer killer. Pancreatic cancer is often very silent until it gets to the later stages. Many patients with pancreatic cancer don't have specific symptoms. Uh, they have a cancer that's growing within their pancreas, and when it gets to a large enough size, or if it spreads to other areas, then they start getting symptoms. I believe when I was in the doctor's office in the multidisciplinary department and all those doctors all approached me, they were so positive. And they said, we're going for a cure with you. You know, that's it, we're going for a cure. And I thought, well, I can't let them down. I meant, you know, so I've got to do what I need to do on my end to make this happen. Dr. Shula comes in to visit with me right before surgery. And he looked at me and he goes, well, are you ready for this? And um, I was ready. But what he doesn't know is when he walked away, I said, I love you. Because, you know, this, there's somebody that doesn't really know you, and they're about to basically save your life. So I was eternally grateful. Sitting down with Dr. Schulich at the very beginning when he gave me the odds of a pancreatic survivor and the stages that she was in, uh, the numbers were not in our favor. The last numbers I got from Dr. Schulich, where she's at now two years later, they're, they're about 10 times better. Pancreatic cancer is a rough cancer. And many people, despite getting optimal therapy, such as chemotherapy, radiation, and surgery, will have what we call a recurrence, meaning the cancer comes back. But with Laura now being three years out and without seeing signs of the cancer, we can't say that it won't come back for sure, but the odds are looking much better. Personally, I would say to everybody that helped me, because this is how I am, I would say I love you and thank you for taking care of me. And the love and the support. Everything that they did to help me was phenomenal.